Katie Pavlich, Fox News contributor and townhall.com editor and my co-host on The Five, Juan Williams. Juan, um, Peter Ducey is reporting to us here at Fox News that uh, President Trump did indeed leave uh, incoming president-elect Joe Biden a letter. Uh, we don't know what that letter says yet, but we know that that happened. So, you know, some of these traditions, for as different as this inauguration looks, some of the traditions are holding. I think so, Dana, and, and the, the, the worship service obviously is a key tradition and takes on added significance, as Chris Wallace was saying and noting that Vice President Pence is there and was not at Joint Base Andrews for President Trump's departure. But I think that it's all part of what we're seeing in terms of not only the healing, but the news of the day. Uh, the news of the day, including the president having pardoned 143 people uh, over the course of last night. Uh, he did not pardon himself. He didn't pardon any members of his family. He didn't pardon Rudy Giuliani. Um, but he did pardon Steve Bannon, and he didn't pardon Lil Wayne, and he did pardon the former Detroit mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick. This is all part of the business behind the pageantry, uh, and that includes the letter that you mentioned. Uh, Chris mentioned that amazing letter from George H.W. Bush to Bill Clinton. Your success is our success. Our success is your success. And I think that, hopefully, is part of the healing thought at this moment. And the Fox News polls that I've looked at indicate right now it's 59 percent of Americans have a favorable view of Joe Biden. Uh, and, you know, you stop and think about how different that is from 2016, where there were so many negative or unfavorable views, not only of Donald Trump as he took inauguration, um, but you think back to Hillary Clinton, who also had some very strong negative views about her. At this moment, uh, Joe Biden comes in with a sense, uh, I would describe it as a, a wellspring of goodwill. You know, people who might not even be fully on board saying, I'm willing to give him a chance. That would be an added 24 percent of Americans. So that indicates, again, the power of this moment, Inauguration Day in America. And uh, Katie Pavlich, I'm going to ask the control room, do we have the sound of President Trump um, wishing the Bidens well? Um, because that might give us a sense of what is in the letter. All right, if we could play that, and Katie, I'll get your reaction on the other side, please. We did what we came here to do, and so much more. This week, we inaugurate a new administration and pray for its success in keeping America safe and prosperous. We extend our best wishes, and we also want them to have luck, a very important word. Katie, he reiterated something similar um, at Andrews Air Force Base, saying that we wish them great success. And he, but he mentioned that you know we've set them up for great success. What's your thoughts now? Yeah, the president reiterated his his track record and believes that Joe Biden can pick up the ball when it comes to Operation Warp Speed and deal with the coronavirus pandemic in a way that he promised to on the campaign trail. And when it comes to uh, moving forward, you know, President Trump deeply loves this country. Joe Biden says he deeply loves this country, and President Trump wants the country to succeed. And therefore, you know, he's leaving today with a record thanking his family, thanking all of the people who worked for him. It's been a very tough uh, election cycle. Obviously, the last two months have been very difficult. The last two weeks have been increasingly difficult given uh, the events. But the president uh, had, did come around. He is wishing Joe Biden and the Biden administration well, and hoping that a number of his policies, which were good for the country, are continued to be implemented and that the Biden administration can profit and benefit for the good of the country off of a number of the policies that they have implemented.